Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can install Endeavor OS with full disk encryption. Uh, and we're going to be installing it manually, meaning we're going to be have separate root and home partition. And uh, if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below what you would like to see next or if you found this useful. There is not a whole lot of tutorials with uh, manual partitioning and I'm gonna show you how so we're gonna get straight to it now. So once you boot it up from your live USB stick this is the screen you agree to with. If you don't know how to get to this point I'm gonna be linking uh, one of my other videos which shows you how to burn uh, a USB stick with uh, OS on it so you can get here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're actually connected to the internet. You don't need to but it helps out. I'm on a wire connection and this is in a virtual machine. But if not you just click down here and go um, available networks and then log into your Wi-Fi. Once that's done, we're going to hit the installer. I'm going to do online mode. Takes a second. This comes up. We're going to choose the language. English, Chicago works, and then the keyboard layout. Here you want to make sure you're 100% certain you're on the right uh, hard drive or uh, solid state drive. Uh, we want to choose manual partitioning over here. We're going to go next. And we need to create a new partition table. And it has to be GPT or GUID partition table for Endeavor OS to work. So we're going to click the free space. We're going to go here to create. So the first thing we need to create is an um, unformatted 8 megabyte partition. So we're going to go down here unformat it. We're gonna have no mount point but we're gonna flag it as BIOS stash grub. Hit OK. So you can see we have it here. Choose the free space again. Now we're gonna create the boot partition. Create. And this I like to put them to 512. It's more than what you need but it's uh, at least you won't have too little. Now we're going to go here to file system and choose FAT32. Mount point is going to be slash boot slash EFI. And we're going to choose just boot under the flags. Okay. Now we're going to create the root partition. And if you have like a one terabyte drive, I like to allocate about 200 gigabytes or 200 gigabytes to my root partition and then the rest to my home partition. So let's get to it. Again mark free space, hit create. Write file system since I only have about 40 gigabytes here I'm gonna allocate about 20 to root which is 20 that should be about 20. Have it uh, as ext4 file system encrypted Please make sure you choose a good encryption passphrase, password that you will remember because if you don't remember this you will lose everything you put on your drive. Then hit the slash for root and go down all the way to the bottom on the flags here and hit root, hit OK. Now we're just going to take the rest of this and make it into uh, a home partition. So mark free space, create. I'll leave this alone because that's going to use up the rest. Hit encryption again. And here you can choose a different encryption password. But if you choose the same one, you only have to log in once. Now we got to go here and choose slash home under mount point. And there is no flags we need to do. Hit OK. So we can see we have one unformatted 8 maybe bytes. We have one FAT32 boot. Uh, slash boot slash EFI 512 meg maybe bytes. Then we have a lux right here. Good thing we checked because I did something wrong here. So 
mark that one edit I didn't hit encryption there and then type in the same password okay so now we have that now we have a root partition that is 19.5 gigabytes and then uh, Gibby bytes and then we have a home partition that is 19.9 Gibby bytes that all looks good again verify that this is your correct drive you want to install it on hit next here you can choose your desktop environment I'm gonna choose Plasma KDE that's what I like I would like to try uh, LXQT and i3 but I'm gonna for this tutorial I'm gonna stick with Plasma KDE next if you have enough uh, space I recommend clicking LTS kernel and send kernels ex accessibility tools even though if you don't have an HP printer I would take it because you get like the same package and cups and cups filter and that in there as well and so you get it in here as well but you just brothers and Canon printers need some extra stuff and you get most of it if you choose both of them okay good next create the name for your system and then here is your login password and this is really what I recommend you do too for ultimate security have one to log in passphrase or pass pin code to log in to your system after you have decrypted it let's say we use one here and then to be able to log on as or use sudo or sudo su become the root user you have a different pass code and the better you make this these passcodes of course the stronger your uh, security will be hit next here you can go through everything making sure that everything looks good it does hit install install now and once this is done I'll be back and show you the the rest okay so this is what you're left with when it's done installing just mark that box and hit done now the screen for you when it starts booting in is gonna look like this so make sure you read it because it says enter passphrase and then for the drive so you made a full locks encryption so you're gonna type in your passphrase and hit enter And depending on your system this might take a while I've only allocated uh, six cores to this uh, virtual machine and eight gigabytes of RAM so now you can choose your kernels you're only gonna use one at a time so I like the send kernel hit enter now you're gonna see the verbose uh, login here now we have the splash screen or the login screen so now you got to remember your password passphrase for that hit enter and that's technically the splash screen I believe and now you can see your logged in to uh, Endeavor OS and you get greeted with this screen here so you can have general info here after install so go quickly over this you want to update your mirrors click that button choose the country you want and uh, that hit OK this is gonna run here that's done now you want to uh, save this here that's what the mirrors looks like so you're gonna save it to Etsy Pacman D slash mirror list click that button now you want to type in your sudo password not your login password unless it's one and the same oh I remembered it in the end okay so now you want to go make sure the system is up to date hit that one this console is gonna open up here now you gotta type in your root password
and it's going to say there's nothing to do. This is uh, good. It's up to date. Now you can configure the EOS updater. So set all that stuff. Don't really need to mess with that. Don't you don't need to mess with the display manager or change the display resolution really. It's going to pick what's best for you uh, and you can do this after. So I'm just going to close out of that one. You can download Endeavor wallpapers. This is uh, beside the point here. So we're going to go here to assistant. Just <clears throat> you can check here again, browse AUR package and stuff like that. You can get in here tips and tricks. But this add more apps is where you want to go. And here you can choose uh, Arch packages from the official repos or AUR packages. Or here, if you're not entirely sure what you want, here's the pop most popular app. So you can go and click. So if you wanted a music player, um, Elisa, KDE one is a very nice one. Lollipop is good. I like Clementine. So you can just web browsers. I recommend Vivaldi, and uh, it's not in here. You have Tor browser, browser launcher there, and LibreWolf and Brave still not in here. And you can just go through here what you want and put it in, and then hit install now. Then you need to type in your super user password again. Uh, and it's gonna start installing so now you can hit enter for yes and it's gonna install those apps for you and that means you're up and running uh, pretty easily here of course there's more stuff we can do and will do but this is enough for this tutorial now it's probably gonna be about 15 minutes this whole thing so if you again, if you like this tutorial, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. I'll be making some more uh, Linux installs here with Endeavor OS and setting up and all that tips and tricks for it. See you all next time.